Hey guys, Aaron here. Welcome back to the shop. Today I have a little tool of the week for you. After picking up my forward lift, I thought it was only appropriate to get an oil catch pan uh, to go with it. So we have this awesome little guy on wheels that can roll around. And uh, I added this little pad here from Amazon to help it not splash when it lands in here. Uh, the top is adjustable to different heights. You can uh, use this shutoff valve to uh, turn it off. And I think we're gonna need to do that in order to get the oil out. So I've used this for uh, one oil change already. And as you can see by this nice clean hose, I have never evacuated it, but supposedly I can just hook up a uh, little uh, compressor to it and uh, push the oil out of this back into containers. I am going to go ahead and try to use this thing for the first time. This particular one is made by Lincoln. Here is the model number and it can hold 18 gallons. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to be using this today after I get the oil out to do uh, the differential fluid out of this thing. So of course it can capture any kind of fluid. So it's going to come in handy in the shop. All right, to turn this off, you just have to lift the top up out of there enough that it is no longer covering the little ball joint that's in here. And uh, this is probably going to be oily from being down in there. So give that a quick wipe. Okay, here's my setup. I got uh, this nice clear bucket so we can see what's going to happen here. I'll uh, hold that in there. I got my little quiet air compressor here it says not to go over 150 psi so we're at like 125 here or so uh, i think i have this all the way closed down so hopefully it will prevent any air from coming in right when we hook it up but all right here goes nothing start the oil going so yeah maybe I have to open the regulator this way for it to not yeah, either way that does not lock on there very well Well, try to sit this here gently. And, uh, okay, so apparently that thread's not on there very tight. And as I turn it to tighten that, now we're getting good oil flow. And I guess we're at the end of the tank. So, I guess the uh, tank is now empty. All right, so we learned to check our fittings first from the factory that is not tight. But this bucket did a great job of containing it. it nothing splashed out of here. Let's see if this is under any pressure still. Uh, just a tiny bit. Alright, let's try to lift the hose to drain all of the uh, pooled up oil that was in here and get that out. So I think to let the rest of it drip out over time, I think I'm just going to take this and uh, fire it up here. And, uh, let that sit like that, and yeah, looks like that should allow. If I 
do a little balancing act. There we go. Make it all downhill. So hopefully anything remaining in this hose is going to drain back down into the bottom of the tank. And then I can, when it's all done, just wipe the oil off of there and use it again. So yeah, this thing was actually pretty uh, easy to empty after I figured out what to do. So if you guys are in the market for one of these, this is how it works. I'll put a link to one of these things in the description of this video. But uh, yeah, one other option for your garage.